Sharon, B Divine Vintage. Just walk into my craft room and I just thought I'd give you a little uh, little look at it. This is the one I've got upstairs. It's coming along very nicely. Still needs a lot of sorting out and tidying up, but there you go. This is the place where it all happens. Now I'm going to take you back to my table as I view my garden there. Take you back to my table and I'll just be a bit of juggling around now while I just put this on my stand. There we are, that was done. That was pretty, pretty easy. So this is the journal I've been working on using the... Um, Line dot arrow magical tea party, and I have sewn the journals in. Not the, the journals, the signatures are in. Look at that! I've stitched the journals, the signatures in. I've glued that down because I am going to put these are avocado dyed rosettes. I'm going to put those down the seam there, and my I'm going to close it using these beautiful um, glass beads exactly how I'm going to do it I'm not quite sure yet but I will that will be my closure I think that'll look supersonically pretty so here we go I sewed them in and guess what my four which I was thinking of to become three has now become two there's two signatures in. I did add a little bit more paper to each signature, but I think it's looking rather pretty. So here is my little uh, little vintage autograph book papers. I've made a little pad out of those using some snippet roll I had, and I've just popped that in the front pocket. And then inside the journal, this is what it looks like so far. What I've been working on are the plain pages. I've got to keep in mind all the time that I want it to be flat. So I've been working on the plain pages. So I've decided I'm going to keep them all very, very similar. I'm going to do the butterfly, the watercolour butterfly. I'm going to do the flowers. So I've done that one. I have done... Oop. that one I divided that into squares as a watercolor I've tried to make them look sort of as though you're out in the summer doing your watercolor painting and down comes that raindrop I've got all these to do yet I've done this page uh, this butterfly at the time I was doing this the, it was really raining hard outside, you know, the great big blobs of um, rain, <laughs> big summer raindrops. So I did a big summer raindrop on that, um, just to remind me of what was happening at the time. And I, I, I love it. I think it's turned out great. There's these flowers on that are from my garden that I'd um, put in the press. So now I'm going to do this page. So it's really easy. All I've been doing is using my Distress Ink and a ruler. Because I haven't got a stamp with lines. So I basically rub my ruler into my Distress Ink. I have put a piece of, move that over, a piece of strong card underneath. And then I literally pressed on with my ruler to get the lines it's a good one this page I thought I would make into boxes six boxes it's as simple as that but I think it looks really really effective and pretty I think that this kit there's so much going on in the kit that we just need some It doesn't matter, it's a bit crooked, it doesn't matter. 
we just need some um what's the word what are the busyness we just need some calm there we go that is all i've done to get those lines other people use corrugated cardboard to print lines they use um stamps to print lines i've used corrugated card in the past but the lines are very close i've got a line stamp but it's only about that big so i thought let's just do this let's just do it like this so then i've got my butterfly and i'm using the same butterfly throughout and i've just got some um who's this by impress impress form so i just Put that on my stamp. I'm just going to get the card back actually. And then I'm just going to put my butterfly uh, up there. In fact, if it's going off the page a little bit, that doesn't matter. There it is. It's gone off the page a little bit, but that's good. Because butterflies do fly around. Then I got my um, Artel watercolour pens, but I picked, I've got the same colours that I'm going to do every butterfly with. I've got a pink, a green, a yellow and an orange, but I want to do them all the same colour with the same colours, but they all will look different. And then I have just uh, filled in, coloured it in, nothing simpler than that. And that I would imagine goes about there. It's got the yellow. This to use watercolour pens I find so relaxing. I wish I could watercolour. Mind you, if I went to a class I probably would learn how to do it, but I've just never been to a class. But my mum can just do it. My mum just like, right, everybody, look at my watercolour works here. I've done this. She's just so, so talented. You know, some people can just do things, can't they? I have to put so much effort into doing uh, anything, really. Yellow and orange and then pink. The rest of it will just come into the pink colour. It's just a short video, this one. Hobby's a bit off colour today, so I'm just using the time while he's just having a rest to do this. Black. And just to get the outline I put a little bit in there so that that there's my butterfly very simple use watercolors if you want to do but if you're not an accomplished watercolor artist then just use some uh, pens or watercolor crayons I've got those as well and then I've got my water here just spray it just see if I can get a bit of movement on that. That one really blobbed. I was really pleased with, with the effect of that one. So that will, or even some of the uh, distress inks on the bit there. I'll leave that to do its work. And then I got my um, fl pressed flowers. And I was absolutely positive I did some daisies. I'm sure of it. I just looked at my daisies. The... Oh, they're pretty. I've got all these purple flowers, but I'm absolutely positive that I did daisies. I thought daisies would look pretty on here. Here we go. Here's my daisies. 
So I got my diamond glaze and the paintbrush, very fine brush. And then, let's not put it on the book, Sharon, big mistake. I dipped my fine tipped um, paintbrush and used the diamond glaze as glue. So I'll put that there. I could do like a chain, couldn't I, going up the, up the page? Aren't they so pretty daisies, aren't they? I love them. I remember at school, one of my favourite songs was Daisies Are Our Silver. I used to love singing that in assembly. Let's make a chain. <clears throat> I'm just painting the back with diamond glaze. And get my little, sticking them down, get my little chain of daisies going. That's lovely, lovely. I was on a course recently and the guy leading the course was lovely. Everything you did, everything you said was, oh, lovely. Oh, I do believe that that is lovely. Oh, yeah, just been to the post office as well. Took some parcels to post. And then what should happen? As I come out of the post office in my sundress, like you do. I was in my sundress and the heavens opened and it absolutely poured down a great big summer storm. But the thing is, it's rained over these past days, but it's been really hot. But now it's just cooled down and that's lovely. Right, so I've got those on there. Those look pretty. So then I get my diamond glaze and I'm just going to go over the top just to seal them onto the page. I might even spray them all with a, mind if I spray with a plastic sealer, I wouldn't be able to write on the page. Oh well, no, we'll just stick with sealing them down with diamond glaze. And then you get that shine to them as well over the stems so I'm off to Durham this week my daughter and his husband husband a hubby hubster James are off to France to Paris for a few nights so my husband and I and our dog are going up to County Durham to look after their dog and cats cat yeah cats so my house, there'll be people in at my house. My other daughter and boyfriend and animals. Like my family and other animals. And my son and there's people around. People around. Oh, can you hear the thunder in the background? We have had so many thunderstorms these past weeks, but not these past days, I mean, but nothing has cooled it down like today's rainstorm did. But now I can hear a thunderstorm on its way. And I was reading something today about a heat wave under the sea. I don't understand what that is. So that's that. Let's have a look. Let's bring it closer. You can see, can you see how it's the shiny? That's lovely. So I will do the other. There are, then there's not a lot of plain pages, but I will go on to do something very similar so that all the plain pages look similar. They've all got the butterfly, they've got the flowers on. I think it's coming along really nice. I'm really pleased with this journal. That forget-me-not is out of my grandfather's garden. He, he um, 
well that's not out of his garden it's a uh, the forget me nots in his gardens so are forget me not ancestors we bought when we moved to our first house my grandfather gave us a forget me not and every house we've moved to we've brought some forget me not from that with us and that is from the same from this garden so yeah i'm really pleased with that i'm going to show you just a little bit of fun a little bit of fun i made this i thought it looks great it's just a bit different than a ticket you could clip things into it and have dangling off it um however i'm not because i have to keep my book flat then flat it will be so i'm just going to pop that in a pocket along with i made this little notebook out of vintage style papers so those i'm going to put together in a glassine envelope i thought they went really nice together so i'm going to show you how i made that so i made it from this this is real junk journaling now so i had my scrap of idea tim holt's ideology let's just cut it to size there and across how long is that to look i'll give you the exact measurements in a minute so i have one of these that you put the different size pieces of paper or card in to get the different size tags so i used the one and a half inch so that distance is one and a half inches let's cut that off so then you pop that in in its little slot press down there's your first one turn it round do it again and that is it actually i should have put my uh glued my paper onto it first before i punched it but i was just just so excited to punch it so let's start again let's start again start again oh shall we use this we will start again so get your little scrap Cut it to one and a half inches. I'm going to do it, let's do it properly, not show you um, how to do it the cheetah's way and do it wrong. One and a half. back and back and back just cut it there it is that's one and a half inches just straight that up don't look very straight there i've used a different tag this time and then i got some of the paper scrap of the paper this is the one with the i don't want to touch the little girl so i'm actually going to stick that on there so let's pop some glue on do, 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 do. I'll show you a quick and easy way in it. it just messes up I was just so excited to show you how I did it by stamping both ends then I forgot that I needed to actually decorate it oh I'm always excited always 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 so cut that up there still on there to use so that's that but actually so i did that and then i got some just some scrap paper out of my scrap pile and i just glued that onto there Oh, it's just gone really, really warm. Cut 
that out. Let me sit down again. Right, so when it's covered beautifully like that, then stamp it out. So put that in. one perhaps I shouldn't be stamping onto the glass not stamping cutting out like it's on the glass two there we go Let's just even that bit up a bit that's a bit crooked there we there we go it with this thing and it's still a little bit crooked there we go sorted right so that's that so then i got my pink because that is what i am distressing everything with it in this book so it's a victorian velvet around the edges on the back There we go. I thought it was just a nice alternative to a ticket. I actually saw, um, it was Sagita was making these yesterday. She actually used them as well. You know, as, um... so she had a longer one, if you can imagine a longer one. So she had it, so it came over the edge of the page and made a tab. But then here, cause it was a bit longer, she used it as a belly band as well which i thought was a great idea but you have to use that as a tab let me show you the belly band one it'd be easy if i just showed you here's my trusty old damaged so yeah where's my, where's my stamp gone fingers and thumbs so put that in Cut it tight like that, and then hang that over the edge there of your page. So you've got a tag, you've got a tag to use, but also here you've got a belly band. I thought that was a super idea. So that's where I got the idea for these little ones from. So where are we? Here we are. So once I've done that, I then, so back to my scraps of paper, I tore myself off a piece from this side and pinked it around. glued it on then I used um, I have a little jar here where I keep all my you know these that come off other one two three that come off other labels keep those so I'm just going to put those on that's one could put grommets in too if you did it uh, using your crapper down or something put some grommets in there's them two then on the back the right inside one I thought they just although there's like an impression in that there is a slight impression from the punch it's still nice to put those on for that vintage look of authenticity Let's squeeze that down there we go and then on this one i just put one of the little tim holtz transparencies but on this one i'm going to use one out of the kit and 
I'm conscious all the time that everything has to be flat, but I'm actually going to, uh, well, you'll see what I'm going to do in a second with this one. So I'm going to add just the tiniest thing, but everything just adds layers and layers, which just adds bulk to your journal. So if we glue that on to there, that's pretty. However, I thought I might add You have something that's there all the time and then when you need it, when you want it, it's like, well, where's it got to? I had some, oh, it's right under my nose. I'm going to add, you know these, I've been keeping up, keep all these little Tim Holtz bits and bobs here. So I'm going to add, that's these tiny, I find two the same. One. That's the same. So I'm going to add some of these tiny hardwares. I'm going to put them on the end of here because on the end of these there is some what looks like little rivets. So even as tiny as these pieces are, they will add to the bulk. And where's the other? There it is. A little tiny rivet on that side too. Just so it looks like it's been bolted onto that. Is it a rivet? I don't know what it is. It sounds good anyway. And that's like that. So what do you think of that? Do you like that? And then do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to use the diamond glaze. Yes, I am. And I am going to just... What I like to do with diamond glaze is I put it on. Then I always like to use my brush and just spread it to exactly where I want it to go. And that is that. How pretty is that? There's the doorbell. Hopefully my hubby's not feeling well and was having a little snooze will get that. If not, I'm going to have to go. So that is that. Isn't it pretty? So this one and this little notebook I made, I'm going to put in here. And I'm going to put them in. Let me show you. I'm going to put them in this little glossy wallet. I'm just going to bob those in there. I thought they look really pretty together on that page. What do you think? So I hope you like what I've done today. Just a short video and quick demonstration for you. Um, I'll be back soon to show you what else I've been up to. See you soon. Bye-bye.